Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. A friend of the channel, Kaz Trismus, says, Hey, go ahead and update your Raspberry Pi 4B. It's easy to flash. And, of course, I've never flashed a Raspberry Pi before. And my Raspberry Pi is running Octopi right now. But looking over the instructions here, I figure I can put Raspbian on another chip, update the Raspberry Pi 4, and then put the Octopi chip back in and be right back where we started. So let's check it out. Make sure to look for the links in the description below. But here you see the reasoning behind having a SPI-based EEPROM. First of all, the Raspberry Pi is just really complex. The USB is complex because it moves to PCI Express. And then having this EEPROM enables us to update the Raspberry Pi 4 after it's been shipped. Updating the bootloader is done through this Raspberry Pi EEPROM update command. So this looks pretty straightforward. Let's get to work. So like I said before, I pulled the SD card with Octopi on it out of my Raspberry Pi 4 and put a Raspbian SD card in and here I'm just doing the initial setup of region, Wi-Fi, password, and then you reboot. Okay, we're back, so we're going to run that sudo apt update. Then we're going to go ahead and run that sudo apt full upgrade. Answer yes to that, and you can come back in about 15 minutes. And off it goes. So we've downloaded all the updates, and now we're going to apply them. And here we install the rpi-eprom package. So with the rpi-eprom package installed, we can run the rpi-eprom-update command. This is gonna show us the versions of the bootloader and the VL805. So we see here the bootloader is up to date but the VL805 chip still has an update pending. And then you can run that rpi eprom update command with the dash h parameter and get this help that basically states that on the next reboot, everything will be updated. So now we reboot. Okay, coming back from the reboot, we're going to run that rpi eprom update command again. And we'll see that our bootloader and our VL805 are up to date. Now I'm going back to the Octopi SD card and booting that up. Now for some reason I never did get the web camera to work after this. I'll have to keep playing with it. Maybe I'll let you know later in the comments when I get it fixed. But we do manage to get the printer connected. so. That's the most important part there. So you can see it's real easy to update the bootloader and the VL805 using the RPI EEPROM package and the RPI EEPROM update command. And thanks again to my friend Kaz for leaving me that comment. All right, thank you very much. Please subscribe to Shotoku Tech so little Jimmy can have legs, won't you? Thank you very much.